The Great Vaal River straddles four provinces and is one of South Africa's largest sources of drinking water. It's also a prime area for tourism, leisure and lifestyle, and for almost a decade has played host to a unique wine festival. It's called the Vaal River Meander Wine Route, and it's not difficult to understand why. The wine route wanders in and around specific venues in the Vaal area to reveal different ways of enjoying one's wine. The wine festival is held during Gauteng's bitterly cold winter months, and lovers of wine have been enjoying the experience for almost a decade now. What's quite unusual in our industry on the Vaal River is that most of us who are really in competition to each other, we really get on very well and we decided that during the quiet winter months it might be a good opportunity to try and bring business to other Vaal area by having a wine route. So all of us got together about a dozen different venues on the Vaal River and round about the Vaal River and every year we get together and decide which wonderful wine farms we're going to have at each venue and we have our annual Vaal River Meander wine route. And this is our ninth year this year. Just an hour away from Johannesburg, the unique selling point of the wine route is offering a different experience, such as a luxury boat cruise to go with some of the fine wines available. The wine is sourced from some of the finest vineyards in the Cape. The Vaal River Meander wine route was set up specifically to um, market our area. And uh, we, we came up with this fantastic idea of uh, getting the wine farms involved, the wine estates, the wine merchants. and. Um, doing exactly the same for them. They, they're then able to uh, get the marketing exposure for their brands and uh, that's exactly what we decided to do. The other selling points are the interesting venues around the Val that transform the area into a mini wine estate. One such venue is the Mid-Corner Shisanyama and Car Wash for those that love meat with their wine. Mid-Corner Shisanyama is, a, is your upmarket place, you know, the people that come here are the local business people, you know, tourists and also bring, you know, international DJs to come and play here. So it's, a, it's, it's your, your tier one outlet where you find people who drink the expensive whiskies and so on. Yes, we do have uh, ordinary clientele that come here and that makes up a bulk as well of our clientele. The locals are coming to, uh, to do the wine tasting here, even the white folks as well are coming. I think it just worked wonders for us. Local hotels and lodges have been roped in to provide special rates for the duration of the festival. The Waterfront Country Lodge is a venue well placed to complement the wine route with its own offerings. So every operation has their own ideas. Um, the Waterfront Country Lodge is a, is a boutique hotel with a spa. So everyone on the wine route has come up with their own little um, add-on. So um, like most of the other venues, we have included uh, boat trips, which take off from 3.30 every Saturday and Sunday and come back at 5 o'clock. But we also um, have pioneered the wine and food pairing uh, on the wine route, and that's proved to be extremely, extremely popular. The Val Wine Route Meander has positively impacted tourist arrival figures. The quiet off-season winters are now vibrant and most importantly, full of people. In fact, you almost get an annual pilgrimage now of the same guests coming every year and, and every year the numbers go up. Strange enough, I see all walks of people. I mean, people from, every, from all walks of life. Um, we have, you know, just your average Joe who wants to pop in and just taste wine. I mean, it's 20 bucks and for 20 bucks you get to taste, I think there's 14 wines at Shakespeare and there's 23 wines at the Waterfront Country Lodge and I think stadium has got 22. I mean, where do you get to try 22 wines at that price? That said, um, obviously you get uh, your wine for Nisa coming. You're looking for pe people that are looking for great uh, uh, prices on wine. Uh, remembering that um, during the wine route, we actually sell um, off consumption as uh, gift packs to people at cost plus 10%, which is literally 5 to 15% cheaper than cellar door. Uh, it's, just, it's, it's obviously just a marketing thing that we do for our, our partners. With each venue hosting between 8 to 25 different wines, Gauteng wine lovers can enjoy the best wines in the comfort of their own province.